Hi everyone. Today's topic uh, is uh, on a very popular investment-based program offers Canadian permanent residents. It's called the Canada Startup Class. Often people call it the Startup Visa Program. It was formed in 2013 and it became permanent in 2018. It basically brings the opportunity uh, to innovative entrepreneurs uh, globally. If you're an innovative entrepreneur anywhere in the world, uh, there's a great option for you to come to Canada under the Startup Visa Program, uh, hoping to bring entrepreneurs from abroad and match them with uh, designated entities in Canada, either an angel investor, uh, a VC, uh, an incubator, or an accelerator. Uh, and so if you're a startup uh, in, in thought, if you have experience, or if you have a concept that could be a good startup uh, idea in Canada, this program is for you. So what we're talking about, you can see on our website, go to the front page on our slider, the second item, Canada Visa Startup, Canada Startup Visa. Uh, and it's a program that is getting a lot of interest uh, for many individuals because there aren't many options for permanent residence to Canada if you're a person of means and you want to make an investment in Canada. There's very few programs that lead directly to permanent residence right from the get-go. This is one of those uh, very interesting programs. It's basically, you need to create a company in Canada which is called a qualifying business and you need to have support from one of the designated entities in Canada in the uh, startup visa, in the startup um, ecosystem. Uh, so if you're in the uh, investment uh, industry in Canada and you're in the VC world or the angel investor world, we're dealing with startup businesses that are looking for funding with great concepts and are businesses that can scale internationally. Uh, so that is, uh, in a nutshell, uh, that's the kind of uh, individual you want to be uh, and that's the kind of project you're going to be looking to uh, get approval in Canada. So you uh, obviously need support from a designated entity. Uh, we cover all of these basic points in uh, the content on our website that I'm referring to. Uh, what are the requirements? What are the legal ownership requirements? Um, but by and large, uh, this is a program that gets you to Canada quickly and allows you to have a work permit on the basis of starting a real business project in Canada. This is for the people who really want to put a, such a project into operation, want to have good guidance, management consulting assistance, uh, and uh, advisory services, as well as the legal services. This is the kind of project that uh, we can help you with. If you're an entrepreneur, how will you obtain support from a designated entity? Again, it's a question of uh, coming up with a business concept. You have to have a qualifying business. Uh, and then you need to have a, an entity. You need to have good contact, good involvement, good understanding, good dialogue with various designated entities in the industry. Uh, these designated entities will hopefully have an interest in your business project, uh, will conduct some due diligence, uh, perhaps accept your business idea for deal screening, uh, all the way through uh, the final uh, decision by the investor company, whether it's an angel investor or the incubators or uh, a VC, they will be interested in supporting your business project. That will lead to a letter of support, a letter of commitment, and from there you are in a position to meet a, a large part of the immigration requirements to come to Canada under this program. It's the business whole, it's the whole business uh, side of things that becomes very important in how you go about executing this kind of a project. Uh, so once you have uh, the designated entity in hand, uh, then you get a letter of support and primarily uh, that is what you need to submit an application on the immigration side of things. So what I want to cover is how we can help you in executing a project if you're an intending entrepreneur immigrant coming under the startup visa program. Uh, obviously what you need to have is an understanding of how both the immigration side of things works 
in conjunction with the business concept planning side of things. The business concept is obviously critical. Uh, so when you're going to approach one of the designated entities, you have to have a good understanding of what they are uh, going to in, be in favor of or not. So devising your project with a good advisory team will help you identify the business, plan the various modules, price out the various components, often there's software involved, or there's intellectual property that you have to register. So they'll be able to price out all of these things, execute your project, and do all of this within the requirements that these angel investors or incubators have to follow when they would approve your business concept. So what we can do and what we often do with our intending entrepreneur startup clients coming to Canada is devise the business project and execute it for you, together with you, uh, not for you, but with you. Uh, and that is done in line with the, all the legal requirements on the immigration side. So it's very important that uh, as a startup uh, business uh, entrepreneur that you're working with an all-inclusive professional, not just the immigration professional or the business advisory professional, but one that has a, an understanding on both sides of the spectrum. So at immigration.ca, we can help you uh, identify the business uh, project and align that with the immigration side of things. If you have further uh, ideas to present to us, give us a, a, a call or write us at ccsingerimmigration.ca and we'll be happy to share some thoughts with you. Thanks so much.